What's up you guys, No Confidence Gamer here, and today I'm going to be doing not a different type of video, but a life story. This will be a different life story, one that I've never told before on the channel. Obviously, that's you make new content, not old content. Come on, Dan. Okay. And, oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> but anyways, you guys, um, today I'll be telling you guys about the first person that ever told me to do YouTube. Now, before I get into that, I would like to say a lot of people in my life definitely supported my YouTube. First of all, my YouTube channel, the, the, the whole conversation started about me starting a YouTube channel with my best friend Patrick over at Xbox Live when we were playing. Patrick, I don't know if you even know that, I know you're editing this, but yeah, that actually how it started. We were happened to have a chat over Xbox Live and we talked about it and we both agreed to start a YouTube channel. I ended up doing it, Patrick's helping me out, he's making his own moves on this on platforms and stuff, but that's not the point. Um, but anyways, I really liked it because um, it was at a... Th so this story will take place um, in a weird time in my life. I'll get to that in a minute. But anyways, and also, so Patrick was a big supporter. My parents were really supportive. I've even told a story about my dad buying me the Elgato capture card, which at the time was like 200 bucks, and it was a lot of money for me. Now I have a job, so it's still a lot of money, but if I needed to buy a new Elgato, I could definitely... If I could, like, after two paychecks, I could definitely afford to buy an Elgato, but, um, uh, like, absolutely. My mom, like, loves my videos. My sister was always very supportive. She actually watched my first video that wasn't ever released, but this is a story about the first person to ever do YouTube. And now, so this story takes place at a very weird time in my life. It was around the time I was 14. Yeah, I want to say more like 12 or 13 actually, and it was just a really weird point. Now, I've actually always had very bad learning disabilities in school. That's why if you've ever had to see me read out loud, it's kind of trash. But anyways, um, so these learning disabilities, I had to go to, my parents were very nice. They sent me to a lot of tutors, and all of these tutors, and I was tutoring a lot, and I was working really hard in school. I never got really into sports or anything like that. I never got into an instrument, never got into sports, never got into choir, never did any real after-school activities, so I very much needed this creative outlet. And so this creative outlet that I was lacking in my life, um, made me kind of crazy because I really wanted to do something creative like making videos and I never thought it would come true. That's why I think I was so eager to start a YouTube channel was because I needed this outlet. I was 12 or 13, about to go into high school, didn't do sports, didn't have a creative outlet and it was just a really weird time in my life. And looking back, it was definitely my childhood, and I always enjoyed making people laugh, making people entertained. Always liked being the center of attention. Like, growing up, I loved... And in my opinion, you kind of need that to do YouTube. You want to love being the center of atten attention. You want to love getting in front of a camera and talking to people. But anyways, so that's why I think I was so eager to start a YouTube channel when the conversation between me and Patrick actually started. Um, <clears throat> so, basically, so this is what takes place when I was 12 or 13. I was in middle school. And it was really different. This was a very different time in my life. This was before I did my hair nicely, even though it looks kind of fucking crazy today. Um, it was before I drove. It was before I had a beard. It was before I really had good friends. Like, Patrick's my best friend. He introduced me to a lot of them. But I didn't meet him till high school. So this was, it was a, before a lot of, like, weird things in my life. It was definitely, obviously, before I did YouTube. And this person actually means a lot to me. The first person to ever tell me to do YouTube is my grandma. And my grandma actually passed away. I've talked about it a little bit on camera. Um, just a little bit. She was a huge, huge influence in my life. She always pushed me to, like, take up dance or take acting classes. But I was so, like, wrapped up in my school. Like, schooling and learning and um, uh, trying to get better with my um, uh, learning, like, disability. But um, uh, I was so wrapped up in that, I never really ever like, took her advice. But anyway, so at one point, so I was 12 or 13, she was driving me home from school, and we were just talking about it, and I think she could tell I was a little eager for a creative outlet. Um, so she ended up telling me, she's like, you know what would be really good? I've been, my friends told me something about this YouTube thing, where anybody can upload and just keep doing it. She's like, you could just make videos. And I remember exactly where we were. We were about to turn into my street because she always picked me up from school. I remember the exact thing she told me to, like, to do. She told me to put black makeup around my eyes and give my opinions on the internet and call it the raccoon opinions. Now, <laughs> did I take her advice? Absolutely not. I ended up... 
um, not starting my YouTube channel for another two years, and I ended up, I never did what she told me to do for content. <laughs> I give my opinions on the internet sometimes, but I never did the whole raccoon opinions. That would have been fucking trash. But anyways, um, uh, it's just crazy looking back, and ever since that conversation, like, that one conversation she had with me, and fun fact, I haven't told anybody this story. My mom doesn't know it, my dad doesn't know it, Patrick doesn't know it. My okay, sorry for that weird cut, my SD card got full, but as I said, nobody in my extended family knows, nobody really knows about this, and ever since we've had that one talk in her purple car, which I ended up driving for a little bit because she couldn't drive anymore, ever since that one talk where she told me to do YouTube, I actually had YouTube in the back of my head, like, I should do YouTube, I should put something out there, I should work hard, I should do my videos, but I ended up not starting it for two more years because I didn't have confidence, but <laughs> that's why No Confidence Gamer kind of became a thing, there's a long story behind my name, but um, uh, we'll get to that in another Life Story video, um, but anyways, I just didn't have the confidence to do it, and it just really, it was hard for me to, do. it's hard to put yourself out there on a camera, it's hard to be happy, it's hard to be lively, and, um, uh, <clears throat> I think my, like, learning disability, my ADHD really helps me with YouTube, it helps me put in that little bit of craziness. I was talking to a coworker. if you're watching this, shout out to you, Sean, but anyways, I was talking to my coworker, and he said your channel has high crackhead energy. That's kind of true, <laughs> especially when I'm with all my friends and we escalate shit, I've bitten into Play-Doh, I've just done crazy shit on this channel, and I love what it's turned into, and I love my grandma who gave me this first idea, so I needed a creative outlet, my grandma told me to do it, then when I was talking to Patrick over Xbox Live, I was like, I'm doing it, like, this has been in the back of my head forever, I want to do this, I want to have fun, I want to make videos, I want to throw myself out there, and that's what I did. And so far, I've amassed almost 3,000 subs, which is pretty cool. Not That's not a lot, but to me, that's a lot. I've, am, I've amassed, um, like, 800,000 views, which is fucking crazy. I can't believe s people have watched my video. My one video, like, there's one video that has, like, 600,000 views that much. It's just, it's outlandish. It's crazy to me. And I owe a lot of that to you guys. And I owe a lot to my grandma. She really helped me out through some hard times. She's a very inspirational lady in my life. But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys did all enjoy. Please like and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.